Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got a introduction to the uh, channel video um, for the uh, Delta Charlie Frank 840 Charlie 2, which is the um, quarter inch impact driver kit for 99 bucks at Lowe's, um, which is in direct competition with the DCF 850. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. What is up everybody, how's it going, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do the introduction to the channel video on the um, DCF 840 um, C2, which is the $99 kit that you get at Lowe's, 20 volt max. Um, it is in direct competition with the Home Depot's um, DeWalt uh, uh, DCF 850. Um, I have the 850 over here in the corner. It is the, um, I got it bare tool for 99 bucks, but I actually paid $57.46 for it because I had $50 of extra pro rewards from Home Depot. Um, this guy I picked up at Lowe's. Um, there is a couple differences between them. We're going to do, this is going to be the introduction video. It's going to make it pretty quick. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so this kit came with these two black 1.3 amp hour batteries, came with the tool, belt clip, came with a 1.25 um, amp hour charger, which is a DCB107, which is um, uh, actually smaller more compact as well as it um, charges slower than the DCB 112 that is a 2 amp hour and the DCB 115 is a 4 amp hour and the DCB 1106 is a 6 amp hour um, 12 volt 20 volt charger and then you get into the 20 volt only chargers which would be the DCB um, uh, 1108 which is the 8 amp fast charger and the, the DCB 1112 which is the um, 12 amp fast charger um, but comes with bag tool two 1.3 amp hour batteries this 1.25 amp hour charger which is kind of nice because these are not very uh, common chargers I, I have two, I've actually got probably four or five of the two amp, four or five of the four amp. I've got two six amp, I've got four of the eight amp, and I have one 12 amp charger, so it's, it's nice. I think I only have just this one of this 1.25. I might have one extra, uh, I don't remember. But um, we're gonna move the bag and everything to the side. Um, box to the side. <coughs> we're going to do talk about a couple key differences between um, the 840 and the 850 here is the 850 right here all right so 840 is longer from front of the collet to the back um, it is I'm not really sure where my tape measure went oh there it is so front to back from the collet to the back it is five move this guy out the way a little bit it's five inches and one eighth of an inch compared to this guy, the 850, which is four inches exactly. So uh, this guy is uh, one inch and an eighth of an inch longer. And the widths, the 840, it's two and a quarter. This guy is two and five eighths or Yep, two and five eighths. So a little bit wider, a little bit narrower. 
This one has an infinite variable trigger between 0 and 3200 RPMs, and this has 0 to 4200 impacts per minute. Where this guy right here, the 850, is 0 to 3250 RPMs max and 3800 impacts per minute. So the 850 is actually 400 impacts per minute slower than the 840 or um, 400 impacts less than the 840. 840 has 400 more, but the 850 actually has 50 RPMs more than the 840. Um, this one has, you know, if I remember correctly in the last video, the information unboxing specs, weights and measurement video, I believe uh, I did show that this one has more blue lights. This one has more the 850 has more white lights. See, you can see that the hue is giving off this lighter blue, where this hue is giving off more of a violet blue, kind of a uh, darker blue, purplish hue. This one is, the lights are actually blue on the wall, where these are white. And if I turn the light off, you can see blue, white. Um, turn the light back on. If I remember correctly, this one has about 12 or so steps. You're going to have to watch the unboxing specs, information, weights video to find out because um, I can't remember at the moment. I believe this one was, was 12 steps, individual steps. Where this one, the steps change. I remember this one in particular stood out to me because it's got three modes. Mode one it has 12 steps. Mode two, the trigger has 15 steps. And then mode three, the trigger has 19, 19 physical speed steps. Um, they do weigh a little bit different. Um, the the eight fifty with a three amp hour, a four amp hour compact battery is nine and a half inches. If I take this battery off and put it on this guy this guy on it is nine and one eighth of an inch so this guy the 940 is a little bit shorter than the uh, the 850 uh, 840 is a little bit shorter than the 850 excuse me where this guy is nine and a half so nine and one eighth to nine and a half so this uh, the 850 is definitely taller Weight wise, just we're gonna use a we're gonna pop a 1.3 amp hour battery on both of these tools, or we're just gonna weigh them prospectively with these batteries that came with the 840. So with belt clips, the 840 is one pound 6.6 .6 ounces with the 1.3 amp hour. The 850 is one pound 9.1 ounces or 9.0 ounces it settled out with the same battery so one pound nine ounces compared to the 840s one pound 7.1 ounces so there is a 1.9 ounce difference between the two tools so they're pretty measurable with the exact same battery um, if I grab grabbing another four amp hour that I have. There's the 850 with the four, compact four with the 21700 cells. Here's an 840, compact four. They are exactly the same battery. So this tool now weighs one pound, 11.6 ounces for the DCF 840. DCF 850 is one pound, 13.9 ounces. So, one pound, 12.2, so it's not much different. You know, one pound, 12.2 uh, versus one pound, 13.9. So it's not very big difference. Um, this one definitely does have more, um, more variable speed control, um, especially on speed one, you have 12 um, actual 
noticeable steps. So those are the steps. You have 12 for speed one. You have 15 variable speed steps um, for speed two. And then you have 19 trigger variable speed steps. And you can, you can hear the steps. That's what I mean by steps. You can clearly hear it's not a variable infinite trigger where it would just, no matter how little you push the trigger, it would just flow smoothly. That would be an infinite variable speed. These are actually step um, step speed triggers. Um, so it swipes on the wiper contacts. Most, you know, in a normal scenario, there would be a wiper contact or a board that has a wiper um, inside the trigger. There's a basically a trace line on the board and for every step it gradually gains power um, by hitting those steps on the trace um, but all in all um, the 840 I honestly believe is a heck of a deal for 99 bucks um, as a kit I got this one for 99 bucks bare tool the 850 um, is 99 bucks bare tool um, no, you don't get anything with it. Uh, I don't even think you get a bag with it. No, you do not get a bag with it. All I got was the tool in the box. But um, I did get this for fifty-seven four forty-six, and that was because I had fifty pro extra member dollars from Home Depot. So um, it would have been ninety-nine dollars if I didn't have that. But this eight forty is ninety-nine dollars with both of these little 1.3 amp hour batteries and to be honest I don't really think that the, the batteries are bad um, they do not have a charging indicator or anything like that but for somebody starting out these little batteries are, are not bad at all I actually um, I bought almost 10 or 12 years ago or so I bought a Bosch stick tool set it was a hammer, uh, a drill, not a hammer drill, but a regular drill driver, an impact driver combo kit. It came with, I believe, like 1.5 amp hour or 1.3 amp hours as well. I used that tool for eight years or more with no issues. It still works to this day. Um, and it had these size batteries. And I just used, I used these batteries up very quickly, so I killed them quickly. I just charged them, went back to using the tool, took basically took the time to charge these, the Bosch stick version of these by um, taking a break. But um, these will get you by, especially if you're doing something in the house. Impact drivers do not use a lot of battery power, to be honest. Um, you can use any one of these tools all day long without ever touching the entire capacity of one of these batteries. Um, maybe you it will not let you down. They're nice compact size. They're decent batteries. They're pretty much the same as the, the black and yellow versions of the two amp hours, which are these guys right here, black and yellow. These batteries are not, um, one thing I like about this kit, these batteries are not just some 10 year old uh, 1.3 amp hours that have been sitting on a shelf and DeWalt's just trying to get rid of them. These are actually marked as 2021 let me try to get you guys in there turn this light on there you go they're marked 2021 so these batteries are brand new they were made for the kit um, so my take um, I honestly think that they are a great deal for the price I mean you can't go wrong with either one of these tools I will be putting both of these tools up against the old style 887 up and coming in some head-to-head -head testing videos probably sometime next year today is um, Sunday November 14th so um, I'm, I'm still getting over the accident still you know getting back on my feet and doing videos and stuff again um, still taking my time I've taken apart a few parts on sky the 2000 SR5 but 
I haven't really done a lot on that truck. It's just been sitting in my driveway um, on my property waiting to be tinkered on. I have also disconnected the, the shock um, that the spindle broke off of. I do have another spindle for it. Um, I need to replace the lower control arm, rebend the 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 actual welded bracket that houses the steering rack, and a couple other things. But I did get everything loose so that way I can just unbolt the control arm, put a new control arm under it, put a new spindle on it. Um, got new ball joints and new bumper and fog lights and everything. I've already gotten all the parts for it, just haven't gotten to it because I haven't been feeling very well on, and up to it with the neck pain and everything. But um, in all honesty, you can't really go wrong with either one of these tools. Um, they will do different things for different situations. If you need something that's really narrow, but you know you need to get into a really tight space up into a cavity you know, in a vehicle or something, this will work well. This will probably work well for carpentry as well, as well as this one. It's all gonna be dependent on the job you're doing, on which one you would wanna grab. This one is the Atomic Compact Series. This one is pretty close to, in my opinion, a the extreme series to be honest it is pretty compact um, give you guys another look real quick I do have the just to give you guys a look here is the 12 volt with a 2 amp hour so this is the 12 volt extreme DCF 801 this is an impact driver this one has torque mode, low and high. Extreme, atomic. 12 volt extreme from Lowe's. 20 volt atomic from Home Depot. So this guy right here is the 840. It is two and a quarter inches. The 12 volt extreme is two and a quarter inches. It's the exact same. I, I mean, it, it dang near almost looks identical, to be honest. Um, the 12 volt extreme is five inches from the collet. The DCF 840 that just came out for Lowe's. It's five inches and one sixteenth of an inch. So to be honest with you, the 12 volt extreme is actually an eighth of an inch shorter than this one. We can put all of these head to head. I've got, I even got the screwdriver. DeWalt um, 12 volt extreme screwdriver. I have this guy as well. Could um, use that, but for impact driver wise, you know, I also have I also have the Milwaukee 12 volt impact driver. I have I have the 18 volt Milwaukee. I have um, the Metabo. I have the Makita. I've got quite a bit of impact drivers. You know, you guys let me know if you guys want to see specific testing. I have two of the Metabo HPTs. This one is the regular triple hammer. This is the 18 volt triple hammer. I do have the uh, 36 volt triple hammer. I have the 887 in here, which is this one right here. It's the 887. I have the Makita in here as well. So we have quite a bit of impact drivers. If you guys want to see a you know specific video of just the DeWalt right here, we can do that. If you want to see a video where I put every single one of them head to head, we could do that as well. It's all up to you guys on what you guys want to see, but um, I'm just letting you guys know. This one definitely has more speed than the 801, which is the 12 volt extreme. This one does uh, 3600 impacts per minute where the DCF the new DCF 840 does 4200 impacts per minute 
the DCF801 for the 12 volt extreme. It's got three speeds. It's got 0 to 950 RPM, 0 to 1950 RPM, and 0 to 2850 RPM. So this uh, 840 has way more RPM range. Um, it's got 0 to 3200, but this one has three speeds. This one is three speeds. This one is literally one speed only. But that is just um, some information for you guys. Um, I hope the information was helpful. Uh, trying to give as much information as I possibly can in a in you know a compact little time frame. Um, but all in all, I think it's a great. This is definitely a great kit. Um, in my opinion. And I just put the DCF850 in the drawer. We're going to put these 4 amp hour batteries in here as well. Got plenty of batteries for plenty of tools. Um, but in all honesty, this is, in my opinion, a heck of a kit for the price. 99 bucks, you get two batteries, a charger. Uh, 1.25 amp charger two 1.3 amp hour batteries the tool and a bag it's it's not it's not a bad deal at all um, I do hope the information was helpful to you guys and that um, I was able to answer as many questions in the video as I possibly could um, if you have any questions, leave comments down below. Let me know what your questions are. Um, you guys will see this video way before you see the unboxing. Um, that's just a hint. That's how I do the introduction to the channel videos. They always show up before the unboxing. And that's just in case you guys want this information a little bit sooner um, or a lot sooner, you know, depending on when I get to uh, uploading the unboxing and specs video but I try to give as much specs and information as I can you know a little bit of measurements and weights in this video as well but try to compact it into less time um, I hope the information was helpful as always please like comment subscribe smush the bell notification icon for future updates Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJ Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. And I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your night, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!